सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल टू जॉइन टीम माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स हब हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स हब दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट राइटिंग स्क्रिप्ट्स टू रिसीव लोकेशन डेटा एंड शो इट ऑन वेब पेज इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ अ वेब सर्वर वर्क्स एंड बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट पीएचपी एंड एचटीएमएल प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस फाइनली वी विल हैव अ लुक एट हाउ टू यूज दिस स्क्रिप्ट्स टू रिसीव लोकेशन डेटा एंड शो इट ऑन वेब पेज सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स डाइव इनटू टुडेस वीडियो Hello embedded enthusiast Varad here from Microcontrollers Hub bringing you the interesting projects and best DIY tutorials for your weekend projects. All right, before starting this video, I highly recommend you to watch part 3 of this tutorial series first in which we created an AWS EC2 instance slash web server. So before continuing this video, I hope you all have it ready to move on. So the first step in our today's tutorial is to create an interface to control our web server. For that go to www.putty.org and go to the download section and download the latest version of putty software from here with this tool we will be able to run commands to make our server work also download the putty gen for converting .pem file to .ppk file after downloading open the putty gen tool and click on load Select the .pem file which you have got while creating AWS server. Now click on Save Private Key and click OK to get your .ppk file which we will need to connect with our web server. Here we need to know three things. Out of which the first one is host name. For that, go to AWS console, select your instance and click on Connect. From here, copy the host name as shown. and paste it in the putty the second thing we need is username which is also available on the same page just copy the characters till at the red symbol and paste it in connection data username the last thing is to add key for that go to connection ssh auth browse and select the ppk file that we have created Now make sure to save this configuration so that you don't have to perform all these steps every time. So next time just open Putty and double click on the saved setting and if everything is set up correctly you will have a secure connection with your web server. Now we need a utility to send the scripts to our web server. For that go to filezillaproject.org/download and download the latest version as per your system configuration. All the links are also mentioned in the description. After installing, open the FileZilla and go to Edit Settings SFTP and click on Add Key File. Select your .ppk file that is private key file and click Open. Then OK. Now go to File Site Manager. Select the protocol as SFTP. copy the host name from aws console and paste it in the host section select logon type as normal similarly copy your username once done hit on connect button now here you can see the logs and connection status on the left side you have access to your local directory and on the right side is your web server now our setup is ready let's configure the web server to receive the location data Now to receive the sensor data we will use location.php script which will be always online ready to receive location data This is very simple script which receives two variables latitude and longitude then it writes this data into the file named data.txt available on the same location Along with this we have index.html which is home page of our website Again this is a simple html javascript code which reads the location data and plots it on the open street map I have also added a line which will make sure to refresh the web page after every 10 seconds You can update this line as per your convenience Here I would like to point out that this is very simple code which will work out of the box Now surely you can make it more robust and add multiple features to it My objective for this video was to get you started with minimal code Now it's your choice to make it futuristic or as per your requirements. Now open Putty and use the following commands as I explain. 
sudo su to switch to super user sudo apt hyphen get update to update to latest versions yum install php php hyphen mysql to install php and necessary tools sudo apache ctl start to start apache web server ch mode 777 slash var slash www slash html to change permission of the path then go to filezilla and go to the same path root var www html and copy these three files which are available in the description then use command chmod 777 slash var slash www slash html slash star to change permissions of these files and finally sudo apache ctl restart to restart our apache web server now go to aws web console and copy the web address of your website paste it into the new tab to open the website Here you will find a blank page as there is no any location data available. Now open another tab with the same link but this time add lat and lang data and press enter. You should get a similar response if you are following me correctly. Now if you refresh the web page you can see the location plotted on the web page. From here on you can make any changes. you can buy the domain name and link it to aws so that your website will have some name like google.com or facebook.com or you can develop complete website in which one web page is dedicated to the location service the possibilities are endless now we are almost at the end of this tutorial series till now we have a web server and a node mcu which can send the data over internet in the next video we will integrate these two parts so that we will have a complete project ready So if you found this video helpful then click on like button as well as share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified for upcoming video until then take care i'm your host vk signing off